Hello my friends, here we are in Luminar Neo and today we are going to edit this photo. This photo I took two weeks ago in Acadia National Park. This is the stream that go from Jordan Pond to the ocean. As you can see, this is a raw photo. If you look here, we have developed raw. This is a raw image straight from my camera. And um, we will start with the develop module. I would like to increase the exposure just a little bit so I can see. And then my next thing I like to do, it's a little trick that I do on curves. And that is I will apply a slight S curve. Maybe I'll even lift up the shadows a little bit. And then I'll do the same exact S curve. We lifted the shadow in every single channel, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. So just make sure those lines are overlapping. You're doing the same thing on every one of the channels. There you go. And now let's see, this is our before and after. I think we lifted the shadows too much. So maybe I'll just bring them down because I didn't really like the way they look. So we'll just bring the shadows back down. And there you go. Let's see now, this is before and after. And you can see we got luminance contrast and color contrast. I will close the develop, I will open it again, and this time I will open out the shadows a little bit. Not too much, but you know, you wanna see some details in the shadow. Just maybe around there. Now by looking at the image, I would like to crop it, and also I would like to get rid of this broken tree over here, because my eye keeps going there, and I don't like that. So I will go into the crop, and I will apply a four by five crop. And let's see what looks good. I want to see more of those trees. I'll, I'll go with something like that. Click enter. And now I'm going to get rid of that tree by using the erase tool. And with my little brush, I will just paint over it and click erase. And then Luminar Neo will do its best by using a content aware fill to replace that tree trunk with surroundings. And I did an okay job, not the best. I'm going to run it over one more time and get rid of that tree there too. Let's see now. And that is better. Now, let's see, what can we do next? Next, I want to go into the enhance and use accent. And that just kind of makes everything just look a lot better. I like accent a lot. I use it in all my photos pretty much. And that looks good. Now I want to darken this side of the trees over here a little bit. So I will go to develop and take exposure down a little bit. And then with the brush, I will just large, big, soft brush. I will just paint over this side of the trees. And let's see. This is the before and after. Before and after. And I think I like that. Maybe I even want to darken a little bit on this side of the foreground. Or I can use a vignette. Let's use a vignette. I'll use the vignette, choose subject, and I'm going to choose this white part over here because I want my eye to go right in the middle of the image. I'm going to do the amount to negative 100 so I can see exactly where my vignette is. The roundness, I'll make it very, very round. The size, I'll make it smaller, maybe like that. And I'm going to feather it now to 100% and then adjust the amount to what it looks good to my eye. So let's see. This is before and after the vignette. Before and after. Not a big uh, change, maybe a little bit more. But it does make a difference. Next tool I'm going to use is landscape. And here I'm going to add a little bit of golden hour, which just gives a little bit of that sun kiss into the highlight. Adds a little bit of warmth to it. And let's see. So this is before and after. Before and after landscape. Let's see the whole image so far. We started with this and we are here. Before and after. And that looks pretty good so far. What else can we do? Well, let's see. 
we can go to the super contrast and get a little bit more detail onto those highlights, especially over here was a little bit blown out. So you see that was before and after just brings back a little bit more detail. And I like that. Now the problem I'm having is with these greens became a little bit too neon. This is what we started with and this is where we are. And I don't want my eye to necessarily go to those greens. I wanted to go to the water. So I am going to go into the color. We'll go into the HSL and the greens. I am going to take the saturation just a little bit down, not too much, maybe like that. And that just tones them down a little bit. This is our before and after before and after. Now I want to add a little bit of structure to the rocks and right of this mossy rocks over here. So I will go to structure. I'll increase it, not too much. And then with a the soft brush, I will just paint where I want this structure. Maybe here, maybe a little bit here, here and here. And that looks good to me. Let's see again where we're, what we're doing here. This is the before, this is the after. I think I want to darken the foreground just a little bit more. So I will go to develop and take down the exposure just a little bit. And then I will paint it. And then I will paint it here on the foreground. And I think it's a little bit too dark. I want to do it just something like that. Because normally when you're in this situation at woodland areas, um, it's pretty dark. So you'll get good shadows and you don't want to completely remove the shadows. Then it just, you lose that dimension. What else can we do? Maybe we want to add a little bit of red into the mid tones. Let's see if we go to the color harmony and we will pick color balance and then we can choose midtones. Maybe we add just a little bit of red. I like that. And then in the shadows, maybe we add a little bit of cyan. Maybe just even a little bit of blue. Let's see. This is before color harmony and after before and after it kind of tones down a little bit makes those greens not so, you know, electric. I think I want to brighten a little bit of this center now. So I will go back to the develop and increase the exposure a little bit. Maybe that's too much, just a little bit. And then with a the brush, nice big soft brush, I'm just going to, you know, paint a little bit over here where I want the attention to be. And that was the before and after before and after. And I think I like that. And this is how I would edit this image. If you're not to subscribe to this channel, please do subscribe. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.